Aquaculture co-management is a participatory decision-making process that can empower people to take decisions over the rights, responsibilities and benefit sharing around the key shared challenges associated with aquaculture production. Uh, it moves not only from the farm scale, but also beyond the farm scale. It includes not only producers, but governments and also value chain actors all the way across production through to consumption. So aquaculture is a very fast growing food sector around the world. Uh, and at the same time, it's facing a lot of challenges. Uh, a lot of those challenges are associated with production itself, related to disease, for instance, but also some economic risks associated with international markets. There's also risks associated with climate change. If we start thinking about the vulnerability of coastal and, uh, and near shore aquaculture in particular. And aquaculture co-management can enable decision-making to be more inclusive and by being more inclusive, by being more participatory, can come with more legitimate approaches to dealing with these risks. Aquaculture co-management can contribute to the sustainable development of the aquaculture industry by enabling producers and various other stakeholders to actively contribute to decision making that can be more adaptive and more responsive to the challenges that the aquaculture industry is facing globally. So aquaculture co-management really enables shared voices to be heard in the management process and those shared voices can translate into shared practices and sustainable practices associated with aquaculture production related to disease, related to water treatment and this really enables not only sustainable environments but also sustainable communities and ultimately the long-term viability of the aquaculture sector. Aquaculture co-management also faces barriers to implementation. These can be conflicting stakeholder perspectives, they can also be related to limited resources, there might also be institutional barriers. But if aquaculture co-management can really develop the trust required for inclusive and participative forms of management, then it really is a starting point for transforming aquatic food systems.